impressive performance on the LeBlanc Dane, and he's continued to demonstrate that throughout the regular season of North America. Not surprised to see Team One lock in the NAR as their final pick here. They like to split push. You already said it. The top lane is how they like to play their games. And putting Vert on a champion that's capable of doing that is all in the game. Half his HP to Vert's rotation. Cloud9, five men strong here at the Mountain Drake, not allowing Team One to get in there and contest that one. And they will get themselves the first objective of the game. So there comes the ulti from Rusa, and Jensen goes in. Jensen going in, finding the chain this time. Bruce are going to be taken low. The root is there. The entrance from Impact will make an impact indeed. First blood for Jensen. Now going to be taken out by Forlan in retaliation. Impact needs to find his way out of this one. Vert and Forlan looking to find this two versus one kill. Vert, plenty of damage on that Gnar. Continuing to come through on that one. One last auto attack. The Boomerang is going to be sidestepped. And the charm for the reversal for Contract. But Sneaky and Smoothie will be working on grabbing that turret first blood here in the bottom lane. And they find it for Cloud9. Around 12 CS, 15 minutes. This game, he's up a casual 46. Going after Brucer. Chain finds its way onto that root as here comes Contracts to eat him alive. Getting the kill on the Rex side, number two this game. Now having to escape as Burt and Forland make their way into the fight, trying to finish him off. Nice escape from Contracts so far, but he will not get all the way out. Forland barely going to be escaping the chain. The airborne knockup coming out from Smoothie onto Vert, who will still manage to get oh, himself away from the late game threat. You have the Unsen, so let's see oh, how no. he handles this dive. The eggs might get knocked out of the basket only momentarily here. Impact thinking about going into this one, finds the flash into the taunt onto Red Vert, who manages to get himself away for now, but the winds of war blow in the favor of Cloud9 and find their mark contracts. Hero's entrance will keep him safe from any sort of retaliatory damage. Absolute now going to be taken down by Sneaky. Two for zero going the way of Cloud9. The Kog'Maw body will find some Just damage on scale now. They need to try and defend, but C9, they're not going to give him that opportunity. Oh, Forlan in some trouble. Contracts going into the ground, coming out with the ulti, setting up the kill there as Smoothie takes the credit for it. Cloud9 Team gets one to stop this. They cannot allow Cloud9 to find this objective this early. Calling coming in over the wall. Burt going to be taking a lot of damage as Absolute grabs the kill onto Contracts, but Impact now there into the back line. They've grabbed the kill onto the enemy top laner as well. Cloud9 seeing if they can chase these guys down. Ultimates expended across the board. Jensen trying to find his way onto Redbird. I talked about that shield value going up, but it's still not enough. Going to be popped nearly instantly. And Absolute is absolutely dead. Brewster still trying to get his way out of there, but he will just barely survive. Forland now uh, a convincing style. So being able to get clean victories over your opposition is going to set you up nicely when that group is just goal. Forland trying to go in and steal away Bear, and instead he only finds his way into the respawn timer for the next 35 seconds. Cloud9 grabbing Bear in just shy of 27 and minutes. Keep the pressure up onto Team One because C9 they want to get this game over with. They want to walk away with the convincing win, and with an easy pick like that, they're well on their way to doing it. Away. Just Vert does have a full Mega Nar bar. Contracts finding the Prey Seeker there onto Red Vert. Turret nearly going to be falling now. They take Vert down. The last fight of the game going to be breaking out as Brewster gets deleted by Sneaky. A killing spree for the Cloud9 AD carry. Red Vert walking himself away. And Cloud9 with a very convincing victory. Nothing more to say. Clean invest resources into setting him up for success. Once he has that slight lead, he is the caliber of player that will know exactly what to do with it. And then the rest of the game just started going in their favor. They had full control of the bot lane. Impact was not put at a deficit in the top. And the composition of Team 1 was just consistently punished time and time again. Three players on Cloud9 did not die. Smoothie, zero deaths. Sneaky, zero deaths. Impact, the frontliner, zero deaths.